Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Inside the Aisle. I'm your host, Nikki Wolf. And as you can see from the visual, if you're watching on YouTube or one of the podcast platforms that allows for video, we are talking about prostate health today. And I don't know why, but I love talking about men's health. Maybe just, you know, a lot of women tend to be timid talking about it. And I think it's so important to know whether, you know, you're in a relationship with a man or you are a man. Like, it's just such a fantastic thing to know. And the thing is, is, and we'll touch upon this too, it is not a matter of if a man will develop prostate issues, it is when. And anybody, whether it's your dad, partner, brother, son, there's men in our lives and it's important to know the facts and do what we can to support that. So let's dive into prostate health and we're going to put our science cap on today. We're going to get a little sciencey, but like always, I try to use visuals and analogies to make things a little bit easier to understand. So we're only going over prostate health today. So that's all we got to, you know, pay attention for. Um, we're not going to dive deeper into other stuff. So let's begin. I first have a video. Um, and if you're not being able to watch, it's okay. I can still explain it. So your prostate surrounds your urethra like a donut. And what happens is, is if that prostate becomes inflamed, it squeezes on that urethra. And what you could see from the video I'm about to play is the bladder has all the urine and the urine goes through the urethra. And if that urethra is being squeezed on, you're going to notice a lot of urine issues. So that's very common um, for men with prostate issues to have a lot of urine issues. And we'll go over some of the symptoms. But the prostate generally starts off at the size of a walnut and then begins to enlarge in right around age 25. Again, I'm going to reiterate, it's not a matter of if, it's when men have prostate issues. So for those of you watching on video, you'll see right here, we have the bladder up top that holds the urine. Urine's going to go down through this little canal called the urethra and the prostate is surrounding that urethra. So this is a very healthy prostate. You can see it's not very inflamed. Whereas when we get to the next side, you're going to see that inflammation and what it does to the urethra. So right over here in this image, this is going to be that healthy prostate I was just mentioning. And then you can see here, there's an enlarged prostate compressing on that urethra, creating urine issues. Now let's transition to BPH. This is the, one of the most common chronic urological diseases in men, and it's caused by prostate enlargement and an overgrowth of that prostate tissue. So again, like I mentioned, common urine issues. So some of the symptoms include struggling to start peeing, inconsistent or weak stream of urine, inability to empty the bladder, peeing more often than usual, especially at night. They call that nocturnal urination, a strong sudden urge to pee, or incontinence, also known as leaking. Now, I do want to pause for a moment. Incontinence and prostate issues kind of go hand in hand. Life Seasons does carry an incontinence formula. I know it says women's on there. It is it used to not say women's. It's phenomenal for both sexes. Um, and it's so supportive. And so ProST and security go really well together. Now, if you are listening and you're like, okay, I don't know if it's a prostate issue or if it's an incontinence issue, granted, you could take both formulas, but an easy way to kind of help give you a quick determinant is think of prostate starts with a P and nighttime is PM. Ask yourself, do I generally urinate mostly at night or is it all day, all night? There's no kind of difference. If it's mostly at night, chances are it's a prostate issue. If it's day and night, it could very well be an incontinence issue. And that's where our formula security is phenomenal. It's a pink label. It says women's on there, but I promise you this originally used to be just a regular incontinence formula. Um, and it is phenomenal. And so many men have found incredible benefits from security, not just men, but women have as well. So that's kind of the difference between incontinence and prostate. So let's get to the facts, kind of some of that stuff that might be a little scarier, might wake you up. 50% um, of men, men age 51 to 60 have BPH. Again, that inflammation of the prostate. 70% of men age 60 to 69 have BPH. 
80% of men age 70 plus have BPH. What this kind of shows you is if you're 50 and up, you should absolutely be on a prostate formula, if not um, when you're 40. So just a little thing. Now, here's where we're getting a little sciencey. Bear with me. We're going to start from the beginning, break it down. I do think it is helpful to know the, the basics to, in order to understand the big picture. So we'll walk through this slowly and we'll kind of come back full circle to make sure you feel comfortable with the product. All right. So DHT, let's just start at the very beginning. DHT is a sex hormone that comes from testosterone. It's found in men and women. So because women have testosterone and estrogen just at different levels. Now, DHT is helpful. It contributes to sex characteristics, including or male sex characteristics, including deeper voice, increased body hair, growth of male organs. Now, DHT itself isn't bad. Too much DHT is bad. That's what can create issues. It can create enlarged prostate, prostate cancer, and hair loss. And that's also why you don't see a lot of women having hair loss because we don't have enough testosterone to create enough DHT to produce that hair loss. So hopefully that makes sense. So again, I'm just going to reiterate that. We have testosterone. There's an enzyme. Well, we haven't gotten to that, but that converts or makes DHT. DHT in the body is not bad. Too much DHT is bad. All right. So now kind of I, I spoke before the horse or whatever the saying is. I'm horrible with savings. But there's an enzyme in the body that makes that conversion. So it takes testosterone and converts that into DHT. That enzyme is called 5-alpha reductase. You don't need to know that. It's just helpful. And just think of it as the enzyme. If we have too many of those enzymes. We're going to make a really big conversion. So we want to make sure to inhibit or lower those amount of enzymes. So again, we're looking for something that's going to inhibit those enzymes so we don't make a big conversion. Saw palmetto, so really supportive natural herb, is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, meaning it's going to inhibit the amount of those enzymes in the body so we're not making that huge conversion from testosterone over to DHT. And again, DHT is not bad, just too much DHT is bad. So let's come full circle. How can we support this in the body? What can we do? That's where we're going to introduce ProST or a really solid prostate support. I recommend using Life Seasons from the Therapeutics line. This is going to target three main categories, inflammation support, healthy urine flow, and prostate tissue support. So we're going to break down those three categories and what specific herbs are going to be beneficial. So first you're going to find saw palmetto, which we just covered the science of it. That is going to make sure we're not making that big conversion and having a lot of DHT in the body. It's going to make sure we lower the amount of DHT. And again, that's going to help, you know, with prostate health in the long term. Nettle root um, is great for inflammatory support. It's also great for urine flow. Phytosterol complex sounds fancy. It's just the chemical compound that's found in saw palmetto. And that's going to help with healthy urine flow and prostate health. And then we have Swedish flower pollen, which is great for inflammatory support as well as urine flow. And it helps with urine flow because it's reducing that inflammation so that prostate is not squeezing on that urethra, creating all those urine issues. Swedish flower palms are also sold internationally over the counter, so it's like a very hot commodity ingredient or, or herb. Then we have our healthy urine flow support. And so again, Swedish flower pollen comes back. I mean, some similar ingredients. Pumpkin seed oil we're introducing in here, really supportive for healthy urine flow. This also means that this formulation is a soft gel because we needed something stronger to hold the pumpkin seed oil. So you're not going to find it as a capsule. Um, if you have issues swallowing soft gels, it's it's somewhat larger one. Sometimes people will poke a hole in it and squeeze it out or bite into it, squeeze it out. I've also even heard people freezing it. Then it's easier to cut in half and then you can swallow it that way. So whatever works for you. Um, yeah, so that's healthy urine flow. And then lastly, we have that prostitute prostate tissue support. So you're going to find a mix of vitamins and minerals. So zinc, selenium, B6, and D3. Something important to note, when men ejaculate, they lose a tremendous amount of zinc. And probably we are all aware over these past few years how crucial zinc is for the body. So we really want to make sure we replenish that in the body. B6 and D3, crucial for so many different things, but also helpful for symptoms of BPH and prostatitis. 
we see the phytosterol complex and the pumpkin seed oil come back as well. So really good full spectrum support. I will iterate that any of the men's products in life seasons, women can actually take. So you're like, wait, what? Check out our masculinity episode on testosterone. You'll see who or what kind of woman would be helpful, um, would be beneficial to take that. And then for prostate support, I'm going to do a separate episode on this, but PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. So it's something I have. You generally have higher levels of testosterone. You could have acne, unwanted facial hair. Um, you could have very common symptom is um, irregular periods or infertility. And I was actually working with my naturopath one day and she started recommending, okay, pumpkin seed oil, you need saw palmetto, you need D3, you need uh, nettle root, all these different things. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that's in this formulation. So we do have a lot of women with hormonal um, imbalance that have taken um, prostate and notice a benefit. So lastly, it's just kind of covers everything that's in this formulation. Um, one little thing I like to mention is most, you could take this morning and night, but we have had a lot of feedback that, because what happens is in this formulation, there are some natural diuretics. And so in the very beginning, as your prostate is going from bad to better, um, you might notice more of the urine come out, particularly in the beginning. It's like when you're detoxifying, sometimes things get worse before they get good similar kind of concept. And so we actually recommend taking this more in the morning because especially in that beginning, maybe the first month or two of taking it, you're going to notice more urine coming out because it's starting the, the prostate and the cells are starting to regulate. So I'd advise taking this in the morning so that you can pee throughout the day and not wake up in the middle of the night. Um, because if you're struggling with prostate, I'm sure that that is a very common issue and just so frustrating and can be debilitating and um, just affect every aspect of life. Just a so, oh. Would you like to call Mr. Sprouts Kalita? Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's see if we can cut that out. But anyways, I hope that was helpful covering the prostate support and who needs it, why they need it. And again, women can take this formulation, but I highly recommend getting on a prostate formula, especially if you were 40 and up. So until next time, guys, we will chat soon.